He's coming. Cool. <laughs> Acting 101. <laughs> I can't ask, but it's so funny. <laughs> Sleep now. His feet are hiding here, babe. And then these are the other chairs of the other people in the plane. Hello, good morning, bonjour. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. We are here at our hotel. Wait, press zero. Okay, we're about to head out and eat. Are you excited for our first day? Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. Very we are hungry. We came from the airport. We were supposed to arrive at 9 in the morning, but so many things happened. Like, siguro mga 3 hours coming to immigration, and then it was an hour to get here, la 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 la. So now it's 3 p.m. And we're finally ready to head out. Today is Eiffel Tower Day! We're gonna have a picnic. Yes. Picnic, picnic. Naka-alis naka na kami ng hotel, finally. <laughs> what time is it? Oops, I don't have a watch. It's almost 5 o'clock. I thought our day would start at 9 a.m., but here we are. We're on our way to the Eau Claire. We're gonna have a picnic under the Eiffel Tower. Romantic. If it was the two of us, but we're gonna be joined by our friend. Now you're going third wheel. Third wheel. Tom Benson third wheel. Yeah. She's <laughs> Nito Martinez. But uh, he's single, so he's in the same way. How do you know? Why am I always making a rat on my friends with this guy, fam? <laughs> and every vlog. <laughs> hello! Good. How are you? Good. Good. Hello, hello, hello. Seeing you guys. I know. How are you guys? Oh, 
was about to wear something exactly like Mad this. Matching with all, matching with all. Do people do this or it's just you? <laughs> oh my gosh, Rick! This is so strange! What kind of a diet is that? <laughs> Why do my friends always drink my milk when we're abroad? It's a young and I don't really drink. Yeah, do it! Dad drinks Good. like breast milk. Good. Not her breast milk. <laughs> Slater won't even drink my breast milk. I tried it. I... Try it now. No. <laughs> it's probably very nutritious. It really is. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god! Oh my god. Huh? It's not bad. It's sweet. Yeah. It's not very creamy. This is Madame. It's actually bright out, but it's 7 p.m. Now here. It's 1 a.m. in the Philippines. So, Miss is feeling. It's my bedtime five hours ago. Grabbing <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Parang it's my first time seeing it. It's actually like very textured and industrial. And I don't know. The videos and photos don't do it justice. Hello, my love. Yeah, hello. How are you liking Paris so far? Uh, I like you more. Wow. <laughs> You're my Paris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Harrison Monday, I talk. No baby, I can eat my oyster. Mm -hmm. Ravi d'avoir cette bouteille. Les mauvais endroits, les mauvais idées, les mêmes plus. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to Paris from our little room here at the Hoxton, Paris. It seems like it's just 6 a.m. It's so dark outside. In the Philippines, it's already noon time, so I had a very nice chat with Sevi already. Scotty's asleep. We are getting ready because I'm starving. We're having breakfast downstairs. Um, yesterday, I wasn't able to talk to you guys much because we were rushing. There was a situation in the airport. It took forever for us to get out. And then when we got here, the room wasn't ready. Like so many things happened. So I really wasn't able to kind of settle down and take my time and talk to you guys. But now it's a different story because I woke up super duper early, pumped my milk. That's my priority. We are now getting ready because we have a full day event today with Karastas, who is our partner for today's vlog. They have so kindly brought Slater and I here to Paris, the beautiful, wonderful city of love. And I'm so thankful because this is actually the first time that I'm taking with Slater long haul since I got pregnant or the first time it's not just in Manila for work. And it's so nice to spend more time with him, you know, not always be doing the routine of life like working and just seeing each other at night and you know spending time with the kids which is also great but it's nice to also spend time with my husband what better place to spend time with him than in the city of love although it doesn't look very city of love from this angle hopefully today we will have more things to show you guys we are gonna be doing a power talk that's our first agenda with Kara Stas. we're gonna go grab breakfast and yeah let's go I'm excited <laughs>
one problem that I encountered is that I forgot to pack a non-nursing bra. So, we will keep the jacket on. <laughs> Reminder to keep the jacket on. Mental note. Hobbs is busy working. But for the past few days, I've been so tired. And I can tell I'm tired because number one, my joints hurt so much. For some weird reason. If I'm pagod or without clear na sleep, my joints hurt. That sounds very old and lola of me. But another sign is, look at this guys. My eyes are not even. Do you see that? See? It's not even. Like, I have to do this to even it out. There. <laughs> it's so weird. There. Now it's even. Then when I blink, it's not even again. See? That's how I know I lack sleep. It's so weird. criticism and I want you to say standing if you've ever experienced rejection. I have dropped out of college. There was a time where I thought I might be a writer um, but I pursued a completely different path. I wish that I wasn't the type of person who needs kind of like feedback um, but I do and it felt really great to be able to write something that was absolutely shit and send it to her and just feel like okay well now somebody's seen it. I'm, I think that, you know, it's really hard to write about your personal life in general, um, but then being a public persona who's used to kind of um, my life being turned into like little sound bites that then are misconstrued and whatever, um, I, I basically had to trick myself into thinking that no one was ever going to read it. In fact, I read once that an actress or an actor get more no's in a year than some other people in the whole life. And if you make a mistake, the best thing you can do when you're scared to death is push yourself to try again as quickly as possible because the longer we live it, at least this is what I think, the harder it is to recover. And because the fear sometimes can be this beautiful push to move us. And let me tell you a story. I was performing in a theater, a small theater, but it was huge for me. It was a comedy and I made a bad mistake about the words. And um, in comedy, it's all about the rhythm. And I just miss it. I miss, I miss the moment and I felt that the audience noticed too. So then, this little voice that I know if you have it, started talking like, oh my God, such a bad performer. Oh my God, you were such a bad actress. You did so bad. Of course, I stopped enjoying. I was suffering so much. So in the middle of the piece, when we were like changing clothes quickly behind the scene, I told my colleague, I'm so sorry, I made this mistake, I'm so sorry, I feel horrible. And he told me something that I will never forget. And is, we must forgive ourselves as fast as we can. Otherwise, life goes. And the audience goes as well. And I think this is the amazing thing about theater. Theater is basically life. Every time that I am interviewed and asked about success, I think, this is success. It's being able to enjoy everything I do. It's not one character or one series or one film. We just came from the event. I think we have about four hours to kill till our next event, which is the disco happening tonight. Um, we're looking for a place to eat. And my friend saw that we were here. Sabi niya may super near dosa place na the Favorite croissant place slash flan place of a heart. Croissant. 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 So we're heading there right now. Yes, it's a win. 
Wee wee. Yeah. Successful? Oh, you found it? Congratulations. Mika is our strange friend who only eats raw milk, drinks raw milk, eats beef and eggs. That's it. Yeah. It's your milk. whole diet. You should try the raw cream also. It's really good. So raw milk is unpasteurized milk yeah. straight from the cow's udder. Oh. What does it taste like? It's really, really good. It's like yeah? the best milk ever. Really? Yeah, not it's even better good. than my milk? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, it's good. It's good. You'll share this with us, but our lips have touched it. We ate. We ate dairy. We're carcinogen people. Blackberry on your perfume? I'm not wearing perfume. <laughs> It's my natural scent. <laughs> no, I'm not wearing perfume. When I am more close to you, I don't know what. I have like a blue, blue or blackberry, maybe with violet. Mm. Wow. No, it's my it's my work, you know. To <laughs> <laughs> if you don't make perfume, it's maybe a... maybe a shampoo. Maybe. I don't know. So do you like the smell? Yes. yes. It smells so, nice. so good. So one espresso. Wow. Now I don't want to destroy it. I don't want to drink it. Bravo. So pretty. Enjoy. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. It's like nice. Mm. Mm. That's really good too. Super clean and fat. Take the best coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. 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 I'm so weird to be wearing this to be honest but it's disco theme so let's go wow once in a lifetime opportunity they closed the center Pompidou for the whole Kerastase event so we can actually be here oh my god Matisse guys this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be here when it's closed to the public love this is a once in a lifetime opportunity like oh my god Explain, Kanina, because.
was um, there were a lot of people and I was embarrassed. But Kara Stas actually gave us an hour to have a private tour of the whole Centre Pompidou Museum. It's so amazing because I've always wanted to visit this place, especially the restaurant upstairs. It's so hard to get a reservation. Um, I've always, always wanted to come, but I was never, never able to. And now it's so amazing because not only am I finally here, but it's private. So I feel like I'm in Disneyland. <laughs> Again, as usual. Today, we're having a salon day. Hello. Both of us had a little outfit mishap. Mostly me. The skirt that I brought was doomed. Can you move a little so I can show them a fit? So, so simple my look. It's supposed to be a, a brunch day farewell kind of thing today, but we're heading to the salon first to try on some Herastas, Kerastas, Herastas, <laughs> to try on some Kerastas products. We made it to the salon. I'm deciding what to wear, but I do really love my hair. It's so soft and shiny. And it was such a pleasure to be spoiled and pampered in a very typical Parisian salon. I feel like I would not do that myself if I came to Paris because, I don't know, it just feels so luxurious to do it. I'm so lucky that look. Look at the shine. It's so nice. The stylist who did my hair kept telling me that he really liked my hair. He said the color was perfect, you know, it was really strong. And I said, of course, because I use Kerastas every single day. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> and he's like, okay, now I get it. Um, as per usual, Hubs is sleeping because he is having a bit of allergies. So he needs to rest. Dun, dun, dun. Breast milk in a litter. I've already kept so much breast milk. There was even a night where I just felt so bad that I had to throw it out. So I drank a whole cup of breast milk. <sighs> but... Yeah, that's the breast milk situation. I'm kind of glad that Slater talked me out of bringing it all the way to Cebu because with all of the places that we've been to, with all of the logistics and events that we've had to have, I think it would have been so stressful if I decided to keep it and like bring a freezer with me everywhere. But I need like a practical. I was telling Slater yesterday that I actually feel more comfortable in simpler pieces now. Like... I don't know. I feel more confident when I'm comfortable. I remember when I was a little bit younger and I'd go to these events, you know, you'd always dress up, dress to the nines, dress to impress. But now I feel like the simpler, the more comfortable I am, the more confident I am. It's so weird. I think it's age. <laughs> it's age or it's being a mom and being even more practical than I already was. So this is the look and it's super duper simple. Lang. I'm going to wear just ballet flats. I never thought the day would come where I would just wear plain ballet flats to an event, but here we are. What did we come to, no? <laughs> what? I turn on my vlog and the first thing you say is both ansu. <laughs> so guys, alam nyo na <laughs> sa Palais Royale, bog ansu. <laughs> the whiff. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs>
So, my Roms, what's your first impression of Paris so far? It's a very, very nice. <laughs> Is that your French accent? Very, very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. I'm gonna step here para kahit pala. I'll it's, interview you. Like, di ba kasi tayo sa Pilipinas, wala tayong masyadong areas where you just roam around and relax and then ganito yung weather as if naka-aircon yung buong mundo. You mean open spaces? Open spaces, no mosquitoes. No mosquitoes, uh, perfect weather. Perfect we're so weather. lucky. We're so lucky na the weather is so mga nice. parks. And we're just saying na si Scotty parang... Would enjoy it here so much. Yes, like you can actually run around and like... And do nothing. Mm. Like just have fun outdoors. Which we can do naman back home. Yeah, no man. It's just a different yes, vibe. Yes, a different vibe. And then, parang, it's, I think it's the aircon weather. Yes, it really is. We're so lucky. We thought it would be rainy, actually, October. Mm -hmm. Which is why we didn't really plan anything. And then when we got here, mali yung weather forecast. Yes. Super sarap ng weather. Di nga kami nag you know? Yeah. But it feels a bit nostalgic for me to be here. I was telling Slater, says, um, well, I don't want to say when, but a long time ago, <laughs> when I studied here for a few months, mm -hmm. like, this was my hood. Oh. And I, I yeah. And I never really appreciated it, you know? It's like not like the same appreciation that I have for it right now. Yeah. Now, this is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And I was studying here. And now I see it again. I'm like, every corner that I look is a storybook. Yeah, parang right? ano, fantasy land. Yeah, it's like, you know how when you go to Disneyland, everything's so curated. Like all the buildings, to make it seem old and European and everything. But here, it's legit. Like, this is life. Oh, this is... Yeah, diba kasi pag pumunta tayo ng Disneyland, you know it's artificial. It's fake. Like, there's nothing it, behind the wall. It's a copy of a city. Yeah. Or like, whatever. But this one is like, everywhere you turn. It's Ang authentic. ganda. Yeah. yeah. So nice to be back. Mama. Like it? What do you like it? it? You're judging me. The seed oil. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's, that's so dirty. That's your stuff, though, and my dirty mm -hmm. stuff. And our third wheel. <laughs> Miko. We're dressing up today, last minute, because we're going to meet some of our friends from Cebu at this place called... What is it called? Le Tout. Le Tout. Cheval Le Blanc. Blanc. And we went shopping today, and they told us, no, you guys should change. It's a fancy place. So... <laughs> We rushed home and this is the look that we came up with after this aftermath. <laughs> aftermath of a styling session. 
And this is Slater's single slipper that he brought from Cebu, just one. <laughs> no, like big. Yeah. Stop making things up. <laughs> the mystery of the missing slipper. <laughs> Let the expert do yeah. the tasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carla. Oh, what a beautiful view. <laughs>